Hi YouTube, if you're watching this you're probably a Windows 7 user and you've just upgraded to Windows 8 maybe you've got a new laptop, it's got Windows 8 on it so you thought it would be pretty good, you've used it and you found out it's pretty crappy great if you've got a tablet or something like that and you can swipe across absolutely no problems, really useful, really intuitive on the PC, on a laptop, on a desktop, well it's naff. Now what you've also probably tried to do is play one of these, a DVD. You've put it into Windows Media Player, nada, nothing, cannot work. So what I thought I'd do is prepare this little video to show a couple of ways around how we can get DVDs playing on Windows 8. Right, so here we are on the computer and you can see we're on Windows 8. Our beloved start menu from Windows 7 has disappeared, turned into this little box thing on the side which jumps up, shows all your programs. Right, so let's get a web browser up and um, we're on Google and I'll show you the first option which is probably the easiest and that's by a company called Videolan and the company and the, sorry and the player rather is called VLC so just type in VLC and it should be the first link you come across um, Videolan here we go just click download button right in the middle it's a completely safe program no viruses very easy I've already got it up and running here as you can see. Now what's really handy, if you leave it on in the background, you put in your DVD, it should start automatically. But I've already got my DVD in, so the easiest way to do it is to go to media, go to open disc, and you're presented with the disc options as you can see, you select which one it is. Um, it knows it's a DVD already, or rather that's the default option. Um, click on play and it should go. Um, what I've also forgot to mention is as well is that Microsoft have handily disabled the Blu-ray playback so VLC will also enable Blu-ray playback as well. So we've got DVD selected, we click play and with any luck, here we go. Right, I'll stop that there, otherwise it'll probably be infringement of copyright. Okay, so the second option we've got now is um, Windows 8 Media Center. Not Media Player, but Media Center. Um, now the way you can get this is going to windows.microsoft.com um, probably doing a Google search on Windows Media Center will produce the same results. Um, but the trick is, what are we now? We're the 17th of January today. If you get it by the 31st of January, which is probably wishful thinking by the time you're watching this video, um, 31st of January 2013, it's free of charge. If not, you'll have to upgrade. All you do is you fill in the details below with your email address, and then about a week or so later, or no, probably not a week, a couple of days or so, you'll get a product key. You, you put that into Windows 8, and it'll download Windows Media Center for you. Now I'd love to give you a little quick demonstration of Windows Media Center, but the clever people at Microsoft have written some code into it. So if you're using screen capture software, as I am, such as Camtasia, um, I'll put a link to that in the comments as well if you want to mess around with that, um, it won't actually show up. So it's quite a good program, but at the end of the day, if you can get VLC by Videolan free of charge, why not use that? It uh, works fine for me, really good player, no problems, works every single time. So yeah, so that's the couple of ways that you can run DVDs on Windows 8. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any comments, leave them below, and don't forget to rate and also subscribe. Okay, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.